I think probably the thing that I'm most interested in is, is been constructed space and space that is man-made or not natural space. And so the new work and all the work that I've been doing over probably the last 15 years really deals with space that is constructed by man. And that includes such things as gardens and most particularly what I, which is what I started out working with, which was gardens. I'm now working with um, museum spaces, which is a totally artificial space. And that interests me partly because all artists are interested in art and museums and museums in particular, but I'm interested in how people traverse those museum spaces and what happens when they go from a contemporary 20th century gallery into, let's say, a Renaissance gallery. How does the individual um, assimilate that information and what does this kind of overload of culture do to an individual when they're walking through a museum. So it's these kind of artificial spaces which are totally done in such a way that they direct the viewer's gaze that I'm interested in. And when somebody looks at my work, basically what they're doing is that they're looking at themselves in a museum. And that what I want them to kind of understand is that what they're looking at is really what they're doing and to reassess what they're doing in a museum and how they respond to those individual artworks. I think one of the things that excites me about drawing and printmaking and, and why I work in it is because I've always loved to draw. And drawing is kind of at the base of virtually every kind of art making in some form or another and most particularly within Western culture. And the thing that about drawing that has always been so wonderful for me as, a, as an artist is that the simplicity of the materials. It's either pencil or chalk and paper, um, or it can be done on a beach in, in the sand. But for me, that quality of the simplicity is only the beginning because you can play with the materials in a variety of ways to do different things and to get different ideas across to the viewer. And for me, drawing is, it's a very kind of sensuous and good feeling because to sit down in front of something and to be able to draw it and to be able to kind of transpose it to a sheet of paper, there's something very satisfying. And yet at the same time, it's, one of those processes where the artists themselves, you see the actual mark at the time that it's being made. And that doesn't necessarily happen in the other kind of art forms out there. I mean, it happens in painting and it happens in sculpture to a certain extent, but drawing has always been one of those mediums to me that's very, very immediate. And it was a natural segue for me to kind of go from drawing to printmaking. But Printmaking is almost the other, even though what you draw on a metal plate or a litho stone or a silk screen or, or, or a video screen um, to make a print is somewhat slightly removed and there's a lot of technicalities and technical issues that are kind of in between there. It still has that same kind of immediacy to me and particularly with etching, which is what I do most, um, there is a sensuality about carving out that metal plate and working on that metal plate that for me is just part of what making art is about. It's about the hand and it's about the artist making something physically. And so I think drawing and printmaking have always been kind of my mainstay in terms of making art because of that immediacy and drawing in particular because of its simplicity of materials and techniques. I think everyone asks you what artist inspired you the most, uh, uh, what, what made you become an artist. Um, and, and that's kind of like asking a parent, which one of your child is the better child or which one do you love the most? Um, it's, it's an impossibility because I think as artists, we are products of everything we see. Um, we're products of every experience that we have. And, Sure, there are other artists that I look to and I look at um, and that I come back to repeatedly. Um, and there are people like 
Picasso, which is pretty hard not to kind of go back to him um, because of the way he kind of thought through ideas and, and it was just a continual unfolding uh, storyline with him and that his work continually changed over his life and, and over the process of making art. So for me, it's, it's hard to say which artist was, inspired me more than another, but I would say probably in the 20th century it would have been Picasso. Um, probably in another century it would have been another artist, but I'm a product of the 20th century, so I think that is what probably lean on Picasso more. And, and I think every artist of the 20th century and probably hereafter will lean on Picasso in terms of what he does and how he thinks about art um, and how that, what that means to an artist and myself. So for me, I would say it would be Picasso. Why is it important for me to keep creating? I, I, I think that's something that artists have innately kind of born into them. Um, there is a need to do it. And it, I think that is kind of at the core of why we continually keep creating. But I think also the, the other issue is that one thing about making art, there's this, whether it's writing or music or the visual arts or painting and drawing and prints, which is what I do, what really I think compels us to constantly create is to communicate. And that communication is, is a very complex thing in the, in the arts because it's a communication with your internal, you have an internal dialogue that you constantly have with yourself in the process of making something. And you also have, once that dialogue is complete with you, it carries on to the viewer or the listener or the reader they continue to have that dialogue back and forth. And I think, for me, that's what's important about my work. That's why my work is peopled with people, is because it's my dialogue with them and their dialogue with me. And I think without that dialogue, um, it would not be, why would I want to continue to create? Both in that internal dialogue and the one that I have with the general population who looks at my work. So for me, I, I would say the most important thing is in creating is the dialogue that we all have when we go to a museum or when we make a work of art. And having that with someone else is pretty terrific.